Qtor was incorporated in 2018 as a spin-off from the Technical University of Munich. Since 2019, we have our own office and production here in downtown Munich. Our mission is to support our research and industry customers in their scientific low temperature experiments and the implementation of low temperature applications. To achieve this, we focus on three aspects. First, easy to use cryostats. This is to give scientists the time to carry out and evaluate low temperature experiments rather than spending it on the adoption and maintenance of their cryostats. Second, fast characterization tools. This is to accelerate the development and increase productivity of our customers in the prototyping and testing of quantum hardware. And finally, we focus on platforms for the continuous helium-3 free sub-Kelvin cooling and we do this because we believe that helium-3 free cooling will be essential for scalable and affordable applications of quantum electronics. So the problem with helium-3 is it's a scarce and expensive resource. For the future, it will become a bottleneck for the commercialization and industrialization of quantum technologies. So we have to creating a new kind of uh, scalable and sustainable cooling technology. And this is what we are doing at Qtron. All our crystals are based on the adiabatic demonization refrigeration method. And we believe that our devices are a very attractive solution, especially for early career scientists because they provide cooling independent of the costly cryogens and can cover at the same time a wide temperature range from the sub regime towards room temperature. For users that need ultra compact cooling solutions, we developed the S-Type platform, uh, which comes with a variety of access options. For customers that are interested uh, in fast testing capabilities, for example, uh, or perform quality assurance, um, we developed the L-Type Rapid. This can be equipped with an automatic sample changer uh, that can load samples within seconds and cool them down to millikelvin uh, within two to three hours uh, without warming up the whole cryostat. One of our main components in the cryostat system is a superconducting magnet. These are created in-house using our high precision coil winding machine and our vacuum casting system. With the winding machine, it's allowing you to set a precise amount of layers of superconducting cabling to your coil. The vacuum system, you're then enabled to have the correct ratio of your, your resin and the correct temperature and the correct pressure. When you put a lot of effort and working precisely, you end up creating a good product. It's very rewarding. At the moment, quantum technologies are uh, picking up steam, so many players are entering the game uh, from nation states to big corporates to uh, big research alliances. To really be able to scale quantum technologies, uh, great obstacles remain. So in quantum communications, for example, many components need to be cooled as well. And one of the most promising detectors like tungsten silicide need to be operated well below one Kelvin. This requires new solutions as many of the systems that can be bought even today still run on cryogenic systems that are meant for basic research. And for integration into a global quantum communications network, the size requirements, the footprint, and also the infrastructure requirement will have to be reduced significantly. What I like most about working at Qtor is really is the variety. We do not only work on the generation of the ultra-low temperatures themselves, but we get to combine them with interesting mechanisms like our rapid sample changer or new state-of-the-art wiring like from Delft circuits. Delft Circuits and Qtor share the same vision of integrated tools for quantum research and the operation of quantum hardware. Just like Qtor, we see the great potential of various quantum technologies. In order to facilitate quantum engineers building these technologies, they need great tools. Where Qtor is providing the cryogenic environment, where the quantum devices sit, we provide the signal connections between these devices and the electronics driving it and reading it out. Two important requirements drive the design for the system we develop together. First, the system should facilitate a high number of devices. And second, the system should be plug and play for rapid testing cycles. This way, we can empower quantum engineers to develop these great technologies. Qtra is an active part of the scientific community. For instance, we're partnering with a group of John Finley at the Walter Schottke Institute for Nanotechnology and Nanomaterials here in Munich. John's group amongst many other things, is working on high-efficiency superconducting nanowire single-photon detectors. 
The BMBF funded research project Marquand is a joint effort of Qtra and WSI to develop a modular system of quantum light detectors in a compact crystal. We from WSI side are developing the superconducting detectors and investigate the fundamental optical and electrical properties, all with the aim also to boost detector performance in the end. And as cryogenic cooling to less than 4 Kelvin is key for these type of detectors, we rely on the compact magnetically cooled cryogenic platform, which is developed by Qtra within this collaborative project. So with the cryogenic cooling know-how of Qtra and our expertise on detector fabrication, we envision an easy-to-use and plug-and-play system for single photon detection. It's an exciting time in the history of cryogenics. I'm convinced that thanks to our great team, our strong partners and supporters, we will come up with good solutions to serve the scientific community and industry. We get glimpses of many different technologies and this in turn enables us to, to build products that we feel can truly contribute to the better understanding of the world we live in. Qtra's vision for the future is simple. On the one hand, we want to enable scientific breakthroughs that wouldn't be possible otherwise. On the other hand, providing the cooling backbone for the second quantum revolution.